everybody. Welcome to a performance test of the Revolt 160 Pro. The test bench is ready to go. Uh, we've got almost 90 volts, 89 volts applied. Many other measurement devices are available. Most important for that test of course the temperatures. For the motor on the left side we've got as well as on the right side uh, 600 ohms for the generator which is a little more than room temperature. We've got the monitor for the KLS controllers available and later on at the end of the test a uh, temperature measurement device for the case temperature, the rotor temperature and yeah this time we do not have forced ventilation yet. Uh, this comes a little later on. The brake is already activated but of course not regenerating anything at all right now. So it's time to uh, activate the throttle in a few seconds but uh, since it will get very loud in here and um, it also takes some time I will stop recording and at the very end of this video you can see the results. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Some time has passed, more than 10 minutes. Temperatures increased a lot of course naturally and now we will have a look at the summary. Uh, so once again it was about 89 volts and 100 amps. So we put uh, 8.9 kilowatts into our motor side. Um, assuming an efficiency of around about of 85%. It was about 7.6 kilowatts mechanical power at a speed of 3250 rpm that was around about 22 newton meters. Um, now you can see how the temperature increased. Um, the motor was on a higher temperature level than the generator, both started at 24 degrees celsius. The motor ended up at 93 degrees celsius, a uh, winding temperature, so rotor temperature, a uh, stator temperature, sorry and the generator at 82 degrees Celsius. Both values are totally fine according to the manufacturer who says uh, 120 degrees uh, continuously. The rotor is a little bit more critical. The motor rotor temperature was finally at 100 degrees Celsius and the generator at 97 degrees Celsius, which is short time operation only according to the manufacturer. Additionally, the case temperatures of the controllers uh, also significant increase in temperature up to 60 or 56 degrees Celsius respectively. So coming back to our initial values over here, uh, we had losses uh, about 2.8 kilowatts. So on the left and on the right side, uh, those losses split round about equally into motor and generator and power electronics. So um, we've got 1.4 kilowatts on each side and at 7.6 kilowatts uh, that underlines a fairly high efficiency of more than 80% including controller, including the machine and also the cable sets and any other auxiliary losses. So far uh, next measurements will be with forced cooling and soon you will also see a review of those machines, one disassembled and some more insights. And as usual if you, you are interested in any measurements I could uh, perform for you then just let me know, leave a comment. Goodbye.